so my powers will become yours. Hey guys, what's going on, man? This is your boy Alpha Size back with another review, man. Today we'll be talking about Shazam. Man, this movie was awesome. I thoroughly enjoyed this movie. Um, I it felt like I don't know, maybe if I could kid again, man. Like, you know, what I'm saying just watching this movie just just taking me back. And I'm like, wow, I, I, I actually enjoyed this movie. Like, you know what I'm saying? It, I didn't know that it was gonna be that good of a movie. Like, I just didn't expect it to be that good. Like, I felt like it would be good because I knew DC was heading in the right direction, but I didn't know that it was gonna be this solid of a movie. And, and it starts with the kids, man. I think the kids made the movie. Like, the supporting cast was so strong in the movie that it just made all the other stuff just that much better. Um, the family was solid. It was a believable family movie. And it was like, that would be the key word that I would think of when I think of Shazam. I think of family. And not your normal family. You know what I'm saying? We're talking about foster kids here. So it's talking about the struggle of being a foster kid and what all that entails. And it was real. It was grounded. And these actors pulled it off. You know what I'm saying? The actors pulled it off. And it was just really good to see how great these kid actors were in this movie and this role and how believable it was. So when about time Zachary Levi popped up as Shazam, you know what I'm saying? It was even more believable. You can believe that a young Billy Batson would say this word and then boom, he becomes Zachary Levi in this suit, right? You know what I'm saying? With all these powers and it was believable. He seemed like a grown man body, but a kid, you know what I'm saying? So he's doing all the things that you would do if I was 14 and I had those powers, I would do exactly what Zachary Levi was doing at Shazam. Like, it made perfect sense to me. And it didn't seem far-fetched. Yes, the movie did have its little corny moments or whatever. But all of that was just overshadowed by the heart of this movie, man. The heart of the family involved. The heart of the acting. Pulling on the heartstrings there, man. It was great. And when you talk about the villain, the villain was a solid villain. You know, a hero's only as good as his villain, man. And the villain... Dr. Savannah in this movie, man, was cold-blooded. You know what I'm saying? There were a lot of things <laughs> happening in this movie. It was kind of, it was kind of like, uh, you know, the director is he comes from a horror background, so I could definitely see like all those horror elements in this movie. And yeah, I mean, parents, if you have a little kids, you know, taking them to see this movie, there may be some elements that you may be like, oh, okay, it's a little creepy, because it was a little creepy, but it was real, and it brought, it made the movie that much more. Um, serious, you know what I'm saying? With all the comedy going on, all the jokes, all the stuff happening, you know what I'm saying? That horror element kind of kept it at pace and it made you feel like the stakes were real in the movie. Like, oh, people have things to lose in this movie. And that is what made the movie solid for me. So definitely go check out Shazam, man. Check it out. Um, the family was great. The actings were great. The little kid actors were awesome. Little Darla, man, she was just so precious. She was great. So just check the movie out for everything is worth it. There are a lot of surprises in there. I don't want to spoil anything. And look forward to April 5th when it drops worldwide. And I'll be back to give you guys my spoiler-filled review. We can talk about all the Easter eggs. Again, guys, if you like this video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It's free. It doesn't cost you a thing. Know that you are blessed. Know that you are loved. Alpha Size, out.